What's up guys? Uh, we're going to be doing things in the dark tonight, uh, mostly because my fluorescent lights went out and I don't have new ones and I'm leaving for work tomorrow to go out of town, so please forgive me on the poor image quality. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to be able to see much. Anyway, what we're going to be working on tonight is what's called uh, a line of fall, plus uh, working on some other stuff that I need to start focusing on myself. Uh, which is going to be house block into the offside shot, offside body versus the offside head like we did in the last video. It'll be like a four part drill, flat snap, or reverse four part drill. It'll look something like this. So you're gonna go house, off body, hammer, right? <clears throat> hammer is just a flat snap from a uh, tent. And the line of fall, is kind of a new concept to me. I just barely learned it last night. Also, my back is probably going to be to you for most of this video for lighting purposes. Um, line of fall is basically whenever you throw a shot, you want your body weight to go with you. Um, you don't ever want to move your sword leg if you're throwing a shot. You should only do that afterwards because um, you're going to lose a lot of that power generation from moving your hips. If you step, you might lose a little bit. So really focus on driving those hips back, right? And in this case, since we're swinging from house into the off body, your stick is moving towards that direction, right? It's going to the right. So you're gonna to wanna to step to the right when you throw that shot. So from house over, right? Plus it's really setting you up for the next shot anyway. Um, now this is going to look a little sloppy because I'm new to it, however bear with me and let's get to work shall we? I'm thinking a better way to do that without stepping forward would be since you're driving, step over with the back leg, uh, mostly because the torque is going to be coming from your front leg if you think of it from like a muscle standpoint. House, hammer. House, tent, hammer. That's four, right? So one, two, this is three, that's four. One, two, four. One, two, four. I need to slow down a little bit and really focus on when I'm dropping that hammer, stepping back across, because it's going to give you that extra little oomph um, that uh, I need specifically. Um, I do throw hammer quite a lot. Again, hammer is just the, when you're coming from tent, and dropping it in for that slot. Uh, you're going to, 95% of my kills come from that. Um, don't let that become a bad habit though. Don't consistently just rely on that, even though. Mathematically speaking, excuse me, is if you're a right-handed fighter, it's just a quick, easy drop it in and kill, right? So you're going to use it a lot. Um, I do, but uh, know that there's other shots out there that you need to be taking priority, or not taking priority, um, that need to, to be there, um, such as the offside leg, right? Or the, offside, or the onside body, or even a wrap, okay? Just know that those options are there and practice them too. But in my case, um, I really need to focus on that offside body and making sure I step with it to give it that little, little bit more of power generation and a little less um, arm, arm power. Uh, I've been noticing my shoulder's been a little bit tender lately, so anything I could do to take that out of my shoulder is gonna help, right? So again, Coming into house, 
off body, okay? Stepping into it, coming into tent, stepping back across. Got a little out of sync there, as you can tell. Um, again, I'm not perfect. I'm still very new to the sport. I'm not very new, but new enough that this stuff is new to me, and it's really, uh, we're all learning together. So house, stepping across, right? You're coming into tent. You can come around the head and step back, or you can just come there and drop it in. Kind of depends on where you're at. Um, and you really don't need to take such extreme angles as I am either. You can, you can literally go from here to there and drop it in. But I'm, what I'm working on is trying to get that line of fall and drive in the body weight of my power generation. Again, I'm off sync. Off sync. It's harder than it looks, to be honest with you. Check. And we're back. Alright, so uh, before we were a little off sync, so we, when you were throwing Coming from this side, and you step towards that direction. The angle's there already, because you're firing from there. House. Okay, creating the angle here. All right, as you're stepping back. So come from major. Nice and easy, taking it out of the shoulder. House, off body, hammer. House, tent, off body, excuse me, backwards. Do as I say, not as I do. House, off body, blocking the flat snap, dropping the hammer. Okay, and continuing on. Off sync there. I'm not practicing what I preach. Nice and slow. House. Dropping that off body in. Taking that step. Tent around the head. Driving it back in. That's the other thing about power work, guys, is you take what you're working on and you continue to work on it. And it can get boring, it can get monotonous. You can be doing the same thing over and 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 over again until one day you're fighting and it clicks and it uh, essentially just drives its muscle memory. It clicks, it makes, you're gonna take that shot, block, and then automatically just throw that off body shot and it's gonna start ringing home. And then it's gonna open up that other side if they block it to drop that in to the hammer. So off house, off body, coming across. You can come behind the head or from here, drop it in. I recommend not going around your head. It does blow a little bit smoother. However, it's a little bit more of a trajectory. 
and it's gonna people will pick up on it. It's actually a really big tail. So house, off body. Plus, as you're stepping across, they're gonna think you're coming this way. And for a slot shot, I throw that way too much too, or an offside leg. And they may take the bait and dive that shield a little bit deeper, and then you're gonna clock them anyway. So. House, off body, on the head, house. Next thing I, I'm noticing I'm doing is I'm not setting up properly. And the pedal's sucking me in quite quite a bit, which is okay. It's not a bad thing. I'm getting, getting in close and throwing shots. Right. However you want to be in a, in a position that they can't hit you and you can hit them all day long. So from a little bit of distance, right? Block the flat snap, off body, flat snap, off body. As you notice, I continue to step forward into the fell, which is just, it's got a magnet on it, I swear. And if you exit out, always make sure you're blocking something, because um, as you're making passes in combat, What's gonna happen is you're gonna throw a couple shots, wah, 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 and then you're gonna drop everything, and I will take your head off if I see you do that as you're disengaging. The other thing is, another quick tip, as you're falling, if you get a leg shot, keep your guard up and then drop, because I've killed several people as they're going down. Combat doesn't stop, All right? So don't let people take advantage of you when you're down. And I think that's going to call it for this video. Again, just to recap really quick, if you guys made it this far, as you're throwing shots, if you're not feeling you have enough power or you're feeling it a lot in your shoulder, it means you're using too much arm and not enough body mass. So as you're throwing shots, if your shot's going a flat snap, you need to step with that direction, okay? Stepping with the flat snap. Stepping across, that's going to give you all that body mass plus your hip mechanics it's really gonna drive that shot in if you're coming across the offside and you step with it all right now the wraps are tricky because you think you need to step into it but really you need to drive it across all right so those are my tips for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you need anything else, as always, drop them in the comments. Sorry again about the shitty lighting, but it's the best I can do with what I got. So, thanks.